All right, guys, this time. All right, this time, guys, this one here. MD12K, another one, guys. Another one, another one, another one. They keep coming in. This one coming in with a problem, guys. Like, whenever you turn the volume button up, then the lights keep going into protect and clip mode at the same time. Protect and clip mode at the same time. So, and this is a, see, 1200 watt, dash 0 0.5 ohms. Oh my words, that's really low. I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah, guys, I don't, a lot of people do that, but I don't like those, um, no, what I'm seeing there. 0 0.5, that's too low to me for amplifier. Put the amplifier under too much stress, and tar amp is known for, you know, going up in smoke sometimes for, because these people, they don't normally for a procedure like you know what they should use at you know the battery and stuff like that stuff like that guys where you're supposed to use that you're not using your battery, battery bank is weak and all that stuff so you know it's gonna problem is gonna just come back to the amplifier you know pressure the amplifier under those circumstances so yes guys so i check all the outputs guys all the outputs are okay so i'm gonna take it apart and see if the circuit cars to me something in the output stage Definitely have to be something in the output stage because the amplifier does power on, you know, or something loose or something, you know, but I'm not sure. But we're going to find out soon, guys. So, what I'm going to do, put a bag here, all these screws here, all these screws, and then let's go. Alright guys, I'm gonna remove this so you guys don't have to hear that a lot of noise. Alright. Alright guys, so I'm removing these fans now, guys. So show you something guys. If ever you have one of these guys and you wonder and you make a mistake when you take this out, the fan, the plus you could really have the capacitor right here. And you know which one is the plus. The plus is the one towards, you know, towards that side. The first one towards the outside coming in coming in. Yes, guys, come in here. That's the plus. So, just in case, because I know a lot of that, as simple as that may sound, it mess up a lot of people. Almost messed me up one time when I get a board that wasn't marked. And for this, this one too is the same way. So, on this side, yes, guys, the plus for the fan is from, you know, coming from, from out in. First one coming in. Right, so, remove that fan. And these fans, I tell you, boy, they, they have a lot of dust, guys. They come in, these things suck in a lot of dust. If you could see here, even here, guys, you could see that that's dust. Even if your dust is just dust, dusty. Mm. Look at this cap, man. <laughs> this kind of guy, this cap is uh, surrounded with a lot of dust. So let me take this out the uh, chassis now, guys, and see what else. What I found with it or something, because this thing. Oh my god, come on, alright. Should be doing what it's doing in my lap. Put it in my lap, guys. No 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 no. Alright, this goes this way. Uh oh. I think this is the wrong one for this side. Whichever <laughs> works. Let's see. If you work, you work. Whatever. Yeah, that works. Hey guys, so it's out of the chassis. Everything is out of the chassis now, guys. So yeah. Ah, yeah, that's a good view of it. Everything shows up. Yeah. And then you have this on the board, guys. Uh, no visible damage. Mm, my words. Alright. So you never know. Let me get to this thing right here. Mm, nothing. Nothing from those caps, guys. Nothing. Alright, nothing. You see, everything's good, but let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me clean this. I hate just seeing this now, I tell I don't want to use this brush. Come on, come on. That brush is not for that reason. Whew. Dust, yes. Oh, man. Dust. No visible damage, guys, so far. So, 
Let's dig a little deeper. All right, I remember. Let me go out to start. You start transformer are good. Mm -hmm. They're good. Things are good. Things are good. Right, back to back, front to front, side to side to side. This kind of one. Yeah. Hold on a minute. This one doesn't see. Hold oh, on a minute. No, oh, guys, that couldn't be that. Hold on, let me check something here. This one here, let me see something. Something is not right here. It's like this is moving. Holy crap. Holy crap, look at this, guys. Holy sh crap, look at that, guys. No <laughs> joke. Look at this, guys. That piece of the copper wire, it broke. So this is why this amplifier, hold on, my words. So guys, this is why you take amplifier apart before you do anything. Damn. Oh, yes. It <laughs> oh, my words. Hold on, let me take this out. Let me take this out a second, guys, because this is... This is not this is not new guys. I get them with this already. I don't know if I ever make a video of one. Because nowadays I don't know what video I make or from what I don't make. Until somebody tell me. Or I get some question from people asking about a hump for when I look I say, Oh sh I did work on one of those. So yeah guys, it's reach that stage where I lose track now of what I work on. Oh holy crap. Look at that guys. Jeez. You could see even see the burn spot on the board, guys. See that, guys? Up close and first. And you could see right there, guys, it's burned. See, it was parking, it was arcing and stuff like that. So, you know, let me rub it out and see. Get rid of that darkness. As you could see here, guys, if you could see it burned, you could see that it's burned. Let me see if I could get a good view of it, guys. And the camera, look at that, guys. You see, you see the difference? See the spin? You see the difference here, guys? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. So I could do something here. I could wrap. Go back around. And come back. Or I could sort it, guys, and sort it from the top. Which I'm going to do, guys. So I'm going to do like this. I have the sleeve so I have more room to do what I'm doing. Yeah, some people they would take off a little one little roll. It would make a big difference, but I wanna keep it just the way it is for now. And this guys, I'm going to scrape it. Alright, guys. Two-sided board, guys. So don't, you know. All right. All right, guys. So tinning, we normally do something like this. Got it tinning. Normally do that. You could left some of the side on it if you want, but this first one I'm gonna just get rid of it, and then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look and make sure the board is okay. Yeah, guys, and this could be a quick little repair for them, which Right. Let's come for here, man. Alright guys. So now it's gonna go in like this. I'm gonna have to put the solder in through that side to get the solder. And this side here. 
I'll take out a piece of here. Because I'm going to have to cut some of the silicone off here. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to silicone it again. We silicone it. So I'm going to silicone on this side. Get a real close up as best as I can. Get a close up of it. Alright, alright, alright. <sighs> guys, alright, man. Alright, guys, so what I'm going to do now is to solder. Hold on a minute. Trying to catch this one first here, yeah, guys. Let's see if I catch this one first. Yep. Hold on that. So I can do with this. Alright guys, so that side is in guys, that side is in. <laughs> right now to this side, which I'm gonna turn this side of hand up a little. I'm gonna use a bigger side of hand. Well, it's not going to be easy guys, but let me show you. All right, guys, I'm going to have to remove one of these, definitely remove one of these cap capacitors. A lot of, not that easy like I thought it was going to be, guys. Let's just remove one of these caps. Capacitor. Remove this one right here, guys. Yeah, because I don't want to take a turn off that transformer. Believe me, I don't want to have that inductor car. I don't want to, guys. Let's check what I've done. Oh, yeah. Inside is going to give me a problem now, a challenge. Let's go on. So there's a little way. Whew. Let's touch one of the plastic bag, guys. Oh man, this thing making a mess right here, man. Whew. Oh man, this thing really gotta have to come out, guys. Not giving me a clear shot. Yeah, not giving me a clear shot of circuit right here, guys. Alright, guys, so if I get one side up of this cap. I can work a little magic. So let me do it like this here. You know, cut under the silicone. Alright. So one side is up. Alright, guys. So that's it. Look at that. So 
I'm gonna start off from this side now, guys. Oh man, I'm twisting up these parts. Oh my words! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, Carter. Relax, 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 relax. So, yep. What's going on here? Don't tell me that cup burst underneath. Don't tell me that cup. There's a problem. It doesn't look. Let me make sure. Oh, it's not. Alright, guys. Yeah, it was parking underneath the cap too. Capacitor. But. Alright, guys. I wish you guys could see what I'm doing, but. You know, guys. I'm, I'm good. You know. So trust me, so I know what I'm doing. So this time. No joke with this one I'm doing here. Yeah? It's legit, guys. Alright, guys, I'm gonna show you. When you know you have a good side at the top, you should see the result underneath the bottom here. Yeah? It's come to the hole, yes, definitely. So I'll just put a little here, not just to tap it off. All right. Hmm. Then you go here. Back and make sure. Yep, yep. All right, so I'm gonna start right here at the top to it here. Cause this thing have a tendency to break. Man, like I think this. Oh yeah, this is. Yes, guys, I think this is on a box for real. I repair one fire with the guy before and he said it was on a box. So this is because of vibrational damage, guys. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna go to this. Yep, you're good. I'm gonna put this capacitor back down to where it should be. No, 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 no. Right, and I will come on, find your position. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I know you lost. Rock it like that, guys. Yes. Rock it back and forth. Make sure the solder see through the other side. And this one, yes, guys, give it some touch up too guys all right so i go through the board guys and come back with you guys and let you guys you know know what's it what if that fix it guys we're good to go So let's see, everything is good here. Good here. So let's see. Guys, 1200, guys. This guy is a Taram 1200. 0 0.5 ohms. This guy, so. It's an inductor coil repair, guys. Well, I hope that's it. But you never know sometimes, guys. So, inductor coil repair. So let's see. vibrational damage oh yeah guys I have <laughs> what is this here this is one of the come on let me see here power supply MOSFET with one of this thing I don't think that caused any problem but some of the foot break one of this one was it doesn't really break off far guys but it break it was going back and forth really fast oh my words Yes, guys, when you do this, guys, please move these, push them like this, or up and down like this, wrap them like that, guys. At least if a sound also has visible problem or really a sound, like it cracking, touching on something, 
That's it touching on the piece that they broke off from from them. Come on, what the heck is a little thing flying around? Hey guys, sometimes good. He's good. Hey guys, so just do that. See them? It's a little tap back and forth. And you should know sometimes guys it's that's kind of funny. Yes, guys. Yeah, Tyram 1200. Zero point five ohms, guys. This one is zero point five ohms, so all the way down to zero point five ohms. Oh my words! Mm -hmm. All the way. Why this one looking like this? Zero point five, guys. Did, why is this part of the amplifier always? Hold on. It's a MOSFET here, guys. I'm gonna replace. I don't know what happened. Why it looking like this, but. You're gonna see so you're going to see something else. I'm gonna show you something guys. So like something touched this MOSFET already and it sparks or something. I'm gonna show you what happened here guys. Something funny, I don't know if you guys ever see anything like this, but I've seen it before. I don't know. Could be a wire full time because these are some guys some wire someplace inside. <laughs> X. I'm gonna show you what to look on this one, guys. Something spark against it. And a lot of these amps for this section of the circuit are always when they have some blown out, some this part always blown out, guys. So, all right, guys. This is the IRFB forty one fifteen, guys. If you could see the pin here, guys, this pin, uh, I don't know if it's visible. Put it in my hand. Nah. Then put it up as a white paper. And if you guys could see, spark like something spark between the, in the middle, guys, you see right there? All right, let me see. Yeah, you could see. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah, like something fell on it or something. All right, so this one here, let me see if I find one for it. I'm definitely replacing it, guys. Let's see what these are. These are the... That's not them. All right, guys, let's go. Right, I thought, oh guys, <laughs> look at this, isn't that amazing? So look at this, these are, I see these new ones coming in, the Taram guys these days, and I, the replacement for it, I have the same type one. If you guys could see, let me wipe this off. The same type with a little sign there, same type of muscle guys. So they've been using the same company in China to make their stuff. Same MOSFET guys. So don't. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, look at that. So I'm replacing this MOSFET guys, definitely. I don't know if something fell out and sparks or what goes wrong, but something didn't go well. Take out a piece of the pin. All right. All right, guys. Let's as you see I put in this guy the way I do it. I make a little hump on it. Yeah. That way it make a, like a little spring. Yeah. Don't sit the don't ever sit this down flat on the circuit guys. Yeah, I always make a little C shape like a little, you know. Oval shape when you put these in. So yep. Sometimes that we don't have to even cut the pins. 
And that's why I sometimes see some pin left behind some that I said, hey, I don't like seeing this point in nobody this. But this one is on the same exact level as this one here. Same exact as I want to tell the same exact level. So guys, I'm going to go over this and see if I find anything else and get back to you. But this is the Rakael, guys. And I'm going to put some silicone just to leave it for it to dry for a while here. And get back with you guys. Alright guys. So see you. I would say you now. See you on part 2 of this video guys. I'm going to definitely gonna make a part 2. Because I'm going to run through this. And I don't want to pause the video for that long. And then definitely I get back with you. But I think this is the problem guys. And this one that I showed you earlier. One of the pin crack. And this MOSFET that I did have to change. But mainly I think the problem was the inductor coil. So just to let you know guys. I'm gonna silicone this and you know guys we go from there so see you on part two of this video guys of this 1200 at what 0 0.5 ohms md 12k i would say repair guys so it's md 12,000.1 and this is 0 0.5 ohm version Alright guys, so see you on part two of this video. Alright, cartoon cardio for now. Please like, subscribe if you like what you see guys. And see you in a minute. <laughs>